ஹாய் ஹலோ வணக்கம் அண்ட் வெல்கம் பேக் டு எட் அனதர் எபிசோட் ஆன் லிட்டில் ஸ்லா யூடியூப் சேனல் ஸோ டுடே இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு சி ஹவு டு டூ அ கனெக்ஷன் பிட்வீன் தி அஷோர் டெவாப்ஸ் போர்டு ஆர் தி அஷோர் டெவாப்ஸ் ரிப்போ அண்ட் டு தி கிட் ஹப் ஸோ பிஃபோர் யூ மோட் த வீடியோ திஸ் இஸ் மீ யூ ஆர் சன் சண்முகம் ஐ வெல்கம் யூ ஆல் டு அ லிட்டில் ஸ்லா யூடியூப் சேனல் இஃப் யூ ஹேவ் நாட் சப்ஸ்கிரைப் யட் ப்ளீஸ் டூ சப்ஸ்கிரைப் டு அவர் சேனல் லைக் ஷேர் and comment your questions and feedback in the comment section so now let's try to connect the azure devops to the github so for that i am just opening one of my repo or the project which is azure repo_jm and here at the bottom so on the top you can see the overview summary dashboards wiki the boards the backlogs and every other aspects of the board items and then the repos and then the pipelines and under that we have the test plans followed by artifacts but under the bottom we have the project settings so when we go to project settings under the boards we have the github connections so when you go to the github connections when you click on the github connections we can see connect github with the azure boards and we can link commit and pull request to work items and see the status of our development within the azure boards and here there is another blue button which shows connect your github account so when i click on the git connect to github account it automatically takes to my github account so this is the github account which i'm using and at this it will ask for the choices whether i'm okay to read my email address and my profile information and then the repositories the public and the private repos so when i click on authorize azure boards it will ask for my password so when i click give the password automatically it will redirect to my github settings and you can see here so these are the two repositories which i have under this particular github account and in case if i want to like if i can choose both of them or i can unselect both of them so if i want to choose only the new load installable i can choose this and i can click on save so now any changes which i do here so here you can see once i have given the authorization to connect only the select repositories so i have already chosen the other one so here you can see i have selected one repository and i'm giving access the following access the permissions i would say the read access to metadata the read and write access to the code the commit statuses which i have in the github their deployments whatever the issues i have had there the pull requests the repository projects and also the right access to attach content to the following external domains so these are the two domains so when i click on approve install and authorize it will redirect me to the azure board to continue the installation so now you can see here i have had the github connected to the azure devops board and apart from connecting the github through project settings under the boards there is one more part which we can connect the github and that is the service connections which come under the pipeline so whatever the changes which we have made here we can make or we can bring the connections from the kit but for the pipelines there is these settings from the service connection so let's go back to the service connections here and under the service connections there is previously there was another repo that has been integrated but i will show you with another uh, repo the github repo on how to integrate so here you can see the new service connection on the right top on the right yeah, on the right side top and at this let me choose the github so there are like several options you can connect through the azure classic the azure devops api the azure repos team foundation server the azure resource manager the arm the azure service bus and if you want to connect your azure repo to a bitbucket cloud you can do it you can connect it to the cargo the chef the docker host you have docker registry generic 
and there are like multiple options even you can connect it to through the jenkins the jira and everything so for now let me connect it to the github and in case even if you want you can connect it to your low runner cloud server so there are like a lot of lots and lots of options for your service connection so for now i'm choosing github and then i'm clicking on next and under grant authorization i'm going to, so there are like two options one is you can do it through your authorization or you can do it through your personal access token the pad token so for now i'm going to do the grant authorization the azure pipelines and now again the same way it's asking for my authorization and once i gave my authorization to the github so wasn't this tech test is my repo which i want to connect on the github account which i want to connect and in case if i want to give any description of this particular connection i can give it here and i'm giving the access permission to all pipelines under my github and then i click on save so now you can see i have got my github account inside the azure devops so now let's go back to the pipelines so this is the reason here i want to create so let's go back to the releases under the pipelines i am clicking on new and then the release pipeline i'm clicking i'm selecting empty job and let me close it for now and when i want to select the artifact so instead of choosing your azure repos or your tfvz or your azure artifacts or you have the github release or you have your azure container or even you can connect to your docker hub or through jenkins instead you can connect using your github and let me choose the wasn't tech test and then the source repo so when i open here i have got my new load installable under this i have got my main version or the main branch and then the default version is going to be the latest from the default branch and let's do add so now any changes or any releases that we're going to do will come from the github repo which we have in the github account which is under the wasn't tech test when i click on save okay so now the release is going to get created after i click on the create release the stage one and then when i click on the create so now the release one has created through my connection through my github connection and also let's check whether we have any other options available to connect the github to the azure repo so these are some of the options which we can connect your github to your azure devops uh, project so now in our next video we will see how to import your azure devops project to github so until then it's bye bye from ascension mugam and little slaw